Welcome to Healthy Love Clinic. This is Dr. Nelson. I'm bringing to you a topic. Cast is your relationship. How a cast get into your relationship. This is the topic tonight. Is how a cast can get into your relationship. Well, whether you believe in God or not, the fact that sometimes or most of the times you are undergoing troubles in a relationship is a sign of a curse. Now, you don't, you, you don't have to be religious. You don't have to be religious. The fact is, there are two words in our language, curse and blessings. Blessings tells you good things are on your way, are yours. While a curse, difficult things, unhappiness and misery are part of your life. So you are under a curse if you are not happy in the relationship you are in, you are under a curse if you are struggling so much in the relationship and you lack peace. And you are blessed if your relationship is full of joy, excitement, and all the f funny things makes you smile and enjoy your day. Now the thing is, a lot of people are struggling in, in the relationship because they don't understand the dynamics. The dynamics of a relationship. A relationship that brings joy, a relationship that brings peace, a, a, a relationship a relationship whereby you'll be excited about your partner is based on truth. Without a truth, it doesn't matter whether you're religious or not, you will suffer inwardly because you were created to experience peace within you. You were created to live a life of joy within you. That's why animals, though they, do, though they walk, though they eat and drink, they cannot laugh. They cannot express their joy in the way we human beings are expressing our joy through laughter. Laughter is a language that is understandable to every nation, to every tribe. So if you're not happy, you are not happy. If you're happy, you are happy. There's no middle ground. So don't pretend that you are happy when you're not. It doesn't benefit anybody. And you're the loser most of the times. So your relationship will be under a curse if you are not experiencing the joy, the pleasure, the happiness you experienced at the beginning of that relationship. Most of the time, people at the beginning of relationship are so happy, so, so excited about the relationship uh, they are in or they have just got in, but they don't know how to run it. <laughs> they don't know how to manage the relationship. Instead, people are very good at what the psychologists are calling impression ma management. Impression management, you want to impress people that we are happy, I am happy, and we am excited about my wife, I'm excited about my wife, my, my husband. There's some, some people are very good at impressing others, while deep down they're suffering. And that's not, that's not, that is not the way things should be. Now I will tell you, if you really want to remove cause and happiness from your, uh, your relationship, there's certain principle, there are certain principles you need to adhere to. <laughs> Those principles are based on one thing, truth. As I said earlier, you know what? There's no way darkness can overcome the light. There's no way. Uh, listen, uh, listen to me. There's no way darkness can overcome light. So whenever you live a life of lies, when there's a, there, are, there are lies in the relationship, whether from your partner or in your own life, you're telling lies to your partner, you're deceiving, you're cheating, you're misleading your partner, you can't experience the joy. It means you are under a curse. You know, what's a curse? <laughs> you might say, what is a curse? I've just written one definition here. It says, a harmful energy released against another by hateful attitude or negative or controlling attitude. I repeat this definition. A curse is a harmful energy released against another by hateful attitude, negative controlling. Someone said this. Negative words spoken about one's identity or future. Hmm. So, so I mean, I mean, it's, it's a negative en energy which is working against you in the relationship you are in, and you're, most of the time you are struggling to stay happy. Most of the time you are struggling to experience peace within you with this person you are in a relationship with. And that's not a healthy thing to have. So you need to know, whenever you're pretending to be happy when you're not, you are just encouraging that negative energy to work in your relationship. Now, what, what, what's the solution? The solution is to try 
all that you can to live the truth. So what you know is the truth. You need to share it with your partner. So whenever your partner does something which I mean you don't like, do you have the courage, the strength to tell him? If you don't feel free to question your partner, if you don't feel free to ask questions, to know exactly how things went, you will always be suffering, struggling, miserable in the recipe you are in. So you, as I said earlier, there's no way that darkness can overcome the light. So if you don't hold on to the truth, if you don't, you're, you don't give priority to the truth, you always be pretending. Pretending is not a good thing at all. Because deep down, you know the truth. You know what? You can pretend, you can, I mean, I mean you, can, you can fool other people, but you can't fool yourself. You know what? You, you can fool everyone else, but you cannot fool yourself. If you're not happy, you're not happy. So what causes unhappiness in your relationship? Is number one, is because there's no transparency. You don't feel free to ask questions. That's why a lot of people, they say, oh, don't, don't touch my cell phone. Why should, should I not touch your cell phone? I need to protect the relationship we are in. I've given you my heart, and I don't want you, you to destroy my heart. I, want, I don't want you to break my heart. So, so it's very important. It's very important for you to realize you need to be strong to manage your relationship, your relationship, your relationship in such a way that your partner will be the main contributor towards your happiness, the main contributor toward your peace and success. So when there's a, an, an, an environment, when there's an environment of openness, when you feel free to ask, to question, to seek guidance as what to do, as how to do things in such a way that everyone will be contributing toward the happiness in the relationship, then, then, then you can go forward. Then you are in a position, you've created an environment to receive blessings from the truth. Truth will bless, bless you, you know what? Curse <laughs> mostly is a spoken thing. Let me say, uh, uh, read something from where, where, where I was reading. It says, cursing is a speech act. See, I said, cursing is a speech act. So wh whatever you think, the, the, the negative things that you have in your heart, the negative things which you are afraid to share with your partner, put you under a curse and you're putting your partner under a curse as well. Whatever negative things you have about your, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, or your wife, whatever negative thing he has, you are pronouncing curse. Because you know what? We are not, we are not only physical beings, but we are also spiritual beings. So the deep down, you know, when, have you ever seen a dead body? Have you ever seen a dead body? A dead body is, is full. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the person who is dead, you can just look at his features, he's the same. But the spirit is not there. So because we are spiritual beings, those negative things going in inside of you are going to affect your partner and the whole relationship. Because they are giving waves, vibes. You, you, you don't see those vibes, negative vibes, but they are there. Whenever there is a lie, whether you're pretending or whether you've told a truth, you've deceived, you've cheated, you are planting a seed of destruction within your relationship. So I think what, what, what I'm asking you to do to avoid putting your relationship under a curse is for you to live the truth. Don't live a lie. So be honest. Be honest with your partner. Try to express your feelings without fear. Because there's no way, there's no way you can build a good relationship based on fear or lie. There's no way. There's no way you can build a happy good relationship on the basis of fear or lies. So you need to give priority to truth and peace. You know what? Why, why, you know why, why I chose this, uh, this topic? Uh, why did I choose this topic? Curse got into your relationship. Because the Bible has got something to say about this and I want to share you what I've just read, what I just found out in the Bible. In the book of Deuteronomy, in the Bible, book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, beginning verse... Uh, Deuteronomy verse 28, beginning verse 25. Uh, sorry, Deuteronomy 28, verse 45. These are the words. It says, it says that this, all these curses will come upon you. They will pursue you and overtake you until you are destroyed because you did not obey the Lord your God and observe the commandments and the decrees he gave you. Listen to this, the next verse. 
they will be a sign and a wonder to you and your descendants forever because verse 47 because you did not serve the Lord your God joyfully and gladly in the time of prosperity I repeat verse 47 verse 47 says because you did not serve the Lord your God joyfully and gladly in the time of prosperity so what about, at the beginning of relationship I mean you're so excited but you need to head away a, me a mechanism in place to keep that joy flowing between the two of you. And whenever there's no joy, there's no peace, there is destruction on the way. There's the destruction uh, moving on in relationship. There's destruction, energy, negative forces. Negative forces of destructions are working in your relationship if there's no joy, there's no peace. Because you are under a curse, because you are not following the truth. Be priority to the truth. Please, I ask you, if you are just watching this video for the first time, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Well, this channel, of course, will be bringing English uh, uh, topics here uh, almost every day. I'll be just bringing one, one topic. I'll also bring in Swahili as well. I'm a Swahili speaker. So, also bring Swahili uh, uh, topics as well. So, I'll have an English uh, topic, and then it will have its uh, partner in Swahili. My God bless you, and take care of your good self. Bye.